Hi beauties! Today I want to talk about ways that we can really honor Earth Day, which is April 22nd, which is now celebrated in 193 countries around the world, which is really like the Earth's birthday. This is a time where, as a collective, we can put energy in respecting and honoring and giving gratitude for Mother Nature, for Mother Earth, and all that she provides for us, and the home for all of us. What's pretty crazy to learn about is that prior to 1970, there were no environmentally protective mechanisms put into place. A company could go and dump a bunch of toxic chemicals in the nearby creek and there wasn't really laws to protect the earth. So it was in 1970, I have the senator's name here, Gaylord Nelson, who we could all give thanks to, he created Earth Earth Day as a way to focus energy around this issue. And 20 million people were protesting in cities all around the country. And it was just a wonderful way to give birth to this movement, um, which is so important for all of us to pay attention to, really honoring and respecting Mother Nature and doing our part with our choices, our decisions, and our lifestyle to protect her and respect her as much as possible. So the first thing is, how we eat. How we eat every day, three times a day, has a profound impact on the planet. Our food supply, the way food is grown, the way, uh, what we're choosing, we're voting with how we eat, and that really impacts the environment. Number one thing that we can do as a collective to protect the environment is to eat plant-based, or at least largely plant-based, for those of you out there that aren't ready to maybe completely be plant-based. It's out there, you can Google it, you can research it, you can watch the amazing documentary Cowspiracy. Paul Hawken, who's a very respected environmentalist uh, who speaks all around the world, he has all these uh, books out now about talking about environmental solutions. It's all out there about deforestation and the, dis the destruction of the rainforest. About 90% of the destruction of the rainforest comes from uh, cattle raising. So people come to me all the time and they're like, oh, I eat meat, but it's free range and it's organic. And I think, wow, but free range is actually, think about it, they need that land for the cattle to graze and eat outside. So to make more land because of the growing population and growing portion sizes of meat, unfortunately, they have to destroy more and more forest and rainforest for that land. We know that there's overfishing of the ocean, the uh, big trawling fishing nets uh, kill a lot of dolphins, just the methane gases that are let off from factory farms. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. It's way too much for us to get into here. Uh, but again, I recommend watching Cowspiracy on Netflix if you're interested in this topic. But we can just know that the more plant-based we eat, the less of a detrimental impact it has on the earth, the lighter that we tread. Another thing that we can do here is to unplug our electronics and to be mindful of how many of that we have even in our house. Um, EMF pollution has is a very real thing. It disconnects us from the earth, from natural living. It affects all the cells in our body. So the more time we can spend outside and be less um, electronic as much as possible, it's a really wonderful way to tune back into nature. Another way to tune into nature is to be shoe free. Uh, Bubby naturally kicks off his shoes anytime we're in the park or we're in the yard. And I think the more children connect with the earth and all of us connect with the earth, the more that we love the earth and we care and we feel that healing vibration and it's really, really wonderful. Another thing is to use all parts of our food, including vegetables. I take the scraps, I make my own stock, or I just include stems, the broccoli stems, I eat it. You can also create simple composting, make it part of your garden. Uh, just trying, to, it creates this consciousness as well, of really living in a lighter way. Um, use earth-friendly products. This is super important because again, we vote with how we buy. And when we use earth-friendly products, we are voting for less chemicals in our home space around. Eventually these chemicals can seep into the soil, into the environment and have a very detrimental effect, of course, on the biology of our planet. It also means we pollute our bodies less. We all have to inhale the cleaning products. And also we wanna use non-toxic skincare products um, um, which is really important as well is not having as many chemicals around and then also of course just really um, 
uh, fostering more natural, beautiful ingredients, botanical based. If you're looking for some natural skincare, we have our amazing Feel Good Saluna skincare line, which you can check out as well. So great ways to honor the earth, just, um, you know, getting out of electronic mode, maybe instead of watching an extra YouTube show or whatever, <laughs> going outside, having a picnic, spending time, breathing, kicking off your shoes, earthing, definitely eating more plant-based as much as possible, using more natural products, and shopping at the farmer's market, I'll just throw in as well, just really supporting local farmers that are really in tune with the local land are some wonderful ways to support the earth. So I wish you the most amazing Earth Day. I hope that you get us get outside. I hope that your spring is going amazing so far. Sending you lots of love, and I'll see you back here soon.